Well, it's not every day that not just one, but two NFL head coaches come to Pocatello. But that's exactly what went on today. For more on that, we bring in Julia Cox from our Pocatello newsroom. Julia. Yeah, Jeff, it's pretty unreal that Dirk Cutter, the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as well as Marvin Lewis, the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals, were both in town to celebrate the championship that Idaho State won back in 1981. Earlier, I caught up with both of them at the ISU FAT meet and greet. Here's what they had to say about being back in town. It's been, it's been awesome, actually. It's been great uh, to be in Pocatello, uh, but secondly, to see all the, our friends and teammates and everybody that you know, I played with, coached for, coached with, got coached by. It's been awesome. Cutter, who grew up in Pocatello and whose dad Jim was an assistant coach for the Bengals on the 1981 FCS championship team, can't believe how different his hometown is. He's driving around, uh, driving around the university today and, you know, driving out here tonight. This is, uh, shoot, this is my stomping grounds and uh, it looks a lot different. Everything grew up. We all grew up. We all got more gray hair and we all got older, but... No, it's just it's great to be back. I see so many people already that I that I know, and, and um, it's so awesome to see my teammates from uh, the '81 team and some of the other teams that when, when I was here. It's going to be a fun weekend. Both Cutter and Lewis were a part of that 1981 championship team. Cutter as a player and Lewis as an assistant coach, and the camaraderie from that team still stands out to them. I've been on a lot of teams, and uh, you know that team had a lot of really good players, had a really good coaching staff. And we also had unbelievable team chemistry. I wish I could take that team chemistry with me back to Tampa Bay because uh, I haven't been on around very many teams. It was as close. We had a lot of fun together. And, uh, of course, those guys played tremendous on Saturdays. In my time here at Idaho State early on, we didn't win a lot of football games. But eventually when Coach Cragthorpe came in and took over, we did. But through that whole period of time, many of these guys we all we became really tough together. We were very resilient together. We had quite a bond. And then we were kind of got pointed in the right direction, which led the team, you know, later on, my last season we were successful, and then later when I was coaching, we won a national championship and then on. And they credit their past for their present. Well, I, I think it's a, a testament to, to the quality of the men that we played here for and were coached by and, and, and were developed by the fact that uh, many of our teammates have gone into coaching, and obviously Dirk and I have been able to achieve a very high level of it. And uh, So we're blessed. We're blessed to have been part of this. Coach Cutter told me that some of the stories out on the golf course may be a little embellished already.